you're thinking about visiting the Reno area and you're wondering what is there to do. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the top 15 things to do in Reno, Nevada. Hey everyone, my name is David Tully, and on this channel, I give you local real estate market insights, and I show you what it's like to live and play in the area. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the top 15 things you can do in Reno, Nevada. And if you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the area and you need some help, just reach out. So first on the list is Lake Tahoe, and I'm sure you're probably not surprised. But don't be mad, it is not located in Reno, Nevada. It is about a 40 to 60 minute drive depending on where you are in Reno or Sparks but I would say that most locals agree with me that it is easily one of the best reasons or things to do in the Reno area. And like I said, it's just a short drive away. You're gonna to wanna to check out beaches like Sand Harbor, which is my absolute favorite. It costs about $10 for a car, so obviously carpool in a bigger vehicle if you're worried about spending too much money. You can also check out great beaches like Chimney Beach or Kings Beach. You can grab a few drinks and hang out on the beach with some friends, soak up the sun, or maybe even get a paddleboard or a jet ski. Lake Tahoe is easily one of the best things to do in the area. Mount Rose Ski Resort. This is easily one of the best things to do in the Reno area, and a lot of locals will also agree with me because it is so convenient if you live in the Reno area, especially if you live on Mount Rose Highway or even in South Reno. It's only about 20 to 25 minutes from my house in Damani Ranch, which makes it very convenient. But not only is Mount Rose Ski Resort convenient, it is also a very good ski resort. You know, they have a nice lodge where you can have some food and some drinks with friends, or even just have a chill day with your family. I highly recommend you check out Mount Rose Ski Resort. The balloon races. The balloon races are a really fun event it typically happen in the early part of September. Yes, it can be really early at times if you're helping set up or if you wanna catch Dawn Patrol, but I highly recommend you check out Dawn Patrol at least once with your families, friends, and definitely your young ones or your kids because they're gonna love it. Sure, they might not be happy waking up at three or four in the morning, but once they see the beautiful sights of all the lights and the balloons as the sun comes up, it is absolutely breathtaking. I highly recommend you check out the balloon races, which kind of happens right next to University of Nevada at Reno at the Rancho San Rafael Dog Park. Hot August Nights is one of Reno's biggest events, and I'm sure as you guessed it, it takes place in August, which is one of the hottest months. This is a cool classic car event, but it's really fun because of how many people it brings to the area. And not just people from Nevada or even the Reno area, you are bringing people from all over the country and even other countries. People absolutely love this car show and it typically happens in the first week of August. Get a few friends and enjoy a few drinks, maybe even get some good food and check out some cars at casinos throughout the area or maybe you don't wanna to go to a casino, you can hang out towards the end of the weekend in the downtown area during the late afternoon and evening, and you're gonna see a bunch of classic cars and cool cars cruise through the downtown Reno area. Floating the Truckee River is a really fun thing to do, but I highly recommend if you do it, make sure you have at least a few friends with you, so just in case you run into any trouble or safety issues, you have some friends that can help you. I really, really don't recommend doing this alone. You know, grab a few drinks, some seltzers, maybe some light beers, but make sure they're in cans and please make sure you dispose of your own trash and don't litter in the Truckee River because it is gorgeous and you don't want to ruin it. But I highly recommend you check out Floating the Truckee River. All right, we've talked about a lot of great outdoor activities, but here is one I wanna mention because it is Nevada, it is Reno, people like to drink. Here are some really great bars that I recommend you check out. The first is Rum Sugar Lime, 
and yes they really serve some amazing cocktails that involve rum and I highly recommend you check out the Maelstrom drink. Other notable bars in Midtown are Z Bar, Pinion, and maybe even R Bar in downtown Reno. These are just some of my favorites which you can get to very easily and they serve up some great drinks. If you're looking for a good beer or a good brewery, you've come to the right city. A few really good spots are Imbibe, Revision, Record Street Brewing, Brewer's Cabinet, and even Ten Tour. And there are many more, but these are just some of my favorites and the most popular in the area. I highly recommend you check out at least a few of these. All you can eat sushi. Yes, I said all you can eat sushi. So if you have a big appetite and you like sushi, you should definitely check out one of these restaurants. My absolute favorite is Tokyo Sushi, but some other notable mentions are Minato Sushi, Sakana, and Hinoki Sushi. Hinoki actually has a couple of locations and so does Sakana. But like I said, Tokyo Sushi is my absolute favorite. My wife and I have been going here for several years and they are very consistent. So if you like sushi, you're going to be spending anywhere in the $22 to $35 range, depending on whether you're going at lunch or dinner, with of course dinner being more expensive. You need to check out the Reno Wine Walk if you like to walk and most definitely if you like wine. I myself personally don't really like wine, but it is more about spending time with your friends and family and having a good time with them. So. Just spend about $30 to $40 to get a wine glass and there's going to be a handful of bars and restaurants that participate. You're going to walk around to these bars and restaurants, show them your glass and they're going to fill it up. But like I said, like myself, I don't really enjoy wine. If you're going to be at a bar or a restaurant, just get yourself a light beer or a seltzer or maybe even a cocktail that you like and just enjoy the day. All right, so another really fun event in the area are crawls. And this just means people get dressed up for a certain event and go walk around town, have a few drinks, and have some good food. Some of the most notable crawls in the area are the zombie crawl, which as you can imagine is right around Halloween in October. This is really fun. People dress up in crazy costumes and have a good time. But I would say the biggest and most notable crawl of the year is the Santa Crawl, which takes place in December, but I'll be completely honest with you, it can get pretty rowdy and there can be a ton of people. So if you don't do well with really big crowds, you might want to avoid it, but I highly recommend you at least check out one of these crawls at least once. So you really didn't think I was going to mention casinos. I know Reno, Nevada is not exactly Las Vegas, but we do have some really great casinos in the area, and these are my top three. I would highly recommend you check out the Grand Sierra Resort, the Atlantis, and the Peppermill. And if you're looking for something that is brand spanking new, check out the Legends Bay Casino in Sparks, Nevada. This is actually the newest casino in the last 20 years, which is really exciting. But my absolute favorite casino in the Reno area is the Grand Sierra Resort because they have a driving range and a really great pool. So I highly recommend you check out one of these four casinos. There are a lot of things to do in the Reno area that involve the nightlife, bars, or casinos, but we honestly have some great outdoor activities. And these are some really great hikes. You should definitely check out the Hunter Creek Trail or even the Galena Creek Trail. But my absolute favorite trail in the area is actually located in Tahoe, and it is called the Tahoe East Shore Trail. A couple of other really popular trails are the Thomas Creek Trail and the Hidden Valley Trail. All right, Burning Man. And honestly, if you ask a local, it might be a 50-50 or a dice roll where they say they absolutely hate Burning Man or they absolutely love it. But to be completely honest with you, we should be very appreciative of all of the money and help it brings to the Reno economy. Sure, they might rent a vehicle and might lie about what they're doing with it, and it comes back with a bunch of gunk. It does happen, and it is to be expected. But it is a really cool event that takes place in August in the desert. Yes, I said it, in the desert. 
It's all about self-expression, community art, and music. And it is a really good time. I've heard from a lot of friends. I personally haven't gone. I don't do great with dust and allergies, but if you wanna check it out, I highly recommend Burning Man. The Rib Cook-Off. This is pretty self-explanatory, but this takes place in September, and it's all about who has the best ribs. It can be pretty busy at times, but if you like ribs, I highly recommend you check it out. Get there early or maybe on off days to get parking so you're not walking really far. You can typically park at the Nugget or side streets and walk to the area. And also, don't forget to get a lot of extra barbecue sauce to hold you over to the next rib cook-off. Last but not least, go watch a Reno Aces game at the Greater Nevada Field. I don't really care if you're a baseball fan, it's more about just spending time with your friends and family. Sure, you can get a couple drinks or maybe even some good food and some Dippin' Dots for the kids. It's a really popular thing there, but just go and have a good time. I think this is easily one of the top things to do in the Reno area. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the top 15 things to do in Reno, Nevada. If you have any questions or comments, please just leave them down in the comments below about any of the things I've talked about. And if you enjoyed this type of content, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the area and you need some help, just reach out. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Take care.